Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Behold, they shall surely gather together. But if not in the name of the Lord, whosoever that shall gather together against thee and your family, they shall fall for your sake. They shall be scattered. They shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not lack this year. The Lord is our provider. We shall not lack any good thing this year in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will go before us and prepare the way for us. The Lord will conquer all our enemies for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is good all the time. The Lord God Almighty, He will what? He will be a shield and protection over us and our family in the mighty name of Jesus. Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, though we walk through coronavirus, though we walk through Boko Haram, he shall not come near us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty will take away evil far from us in the mighty name of Jesus. The staff and the rod of God will comfort us in all ways. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you passing through any problem or the other? The Lord God Almighty will comfort you. The Lord God Almighty will bring you out of that problem. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at the book of Luke. The Bible says that Jesus Christ arose and rebuked the wind. Any wind in your life. Any wind in your family. The Lord God Almighty will arise and rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Is there any storm you are going Going through. I don't know the storm that you are passing through. I don't know the wind that is blowing in your life. I don't know the trouble that you are going through. I don't know the stress that you are going through. But one thing I know is that Jesus Christ will arise upon thee and take away those storms in the mighty name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord. Call upon Jesus. Call upon God. Be willing to what? To call upon him. Be willing to humble yourself. Be willing to give your problem to Jesus. Be willing to put it at the cross of Calvary. And Jesus Christ will take it from you. Say, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus Christ is calling you. He's, he knows that you cannot carry that problem alone. He is calling you today to bring that problem to him. He said that, come and I will give you rest. Jesus Christ is going to give you rest from all trouble this year in the mighty name of Jesus. What happens? Don't keep your mouth shut. Don't keep your mouth. Call upon the Lord right now in that your distress. Call upon the Lord right now in that your problem. And God Almighty will answer you. David said, he said, I call upon the Lord in my distress, in my trouble. And he answered me and brought me out of the merry clay and brought me out of the horrible pit. May the Lord God Almighty bring you out of every horrible pit in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty bring you out of every trouble, out of every problem in the mighty name of Jesus. I will use this hour to pray for our doctors, our nurses, our healthcare workers. May God Almighty protect and guide you all that as you are being an instrument that is being used to help others. May you not fall sick in the mighty name of Jesus. May coronavirus not know your body in the mighty name of Jesus. May the blood of Jesus immune you against this coronavirus. Corona Omicron, Delta Omicron, whatever that we come upon the world. May the blood of Jesus Christ immune you against it in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, the Lord is my, the Lord Lord is what? The Lord is a shield unto us. The Lord is a protection unto us. The Lord is a guide unto us. And also in the book of Psalm chapter 60 verse 2 it says, For behold the darkness shall cover the head and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee. My brother, my sister, my nurse, my daughter, my, my 
a head skywalker wherever you are in all over the world may god almighty arise upon thee and protect you and keep you from this coronavirus in the mighty name of jesus and whatever struggle ah, my nurses and daughters all health care workers may god protect you may god give you strength because i know it is not easy i know the stress the stress you people are passing through oh my nurse and daughters my all oh, my all the heads uh, workers, all the care workers all over the world, all the essential workers all over the world. May the strength of God come upon you. May the grace of God come upon you. May the power of God come upon you and protect you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And he said, he said, the Lord will arise upon thee, and the glory of the Lord shall be seen in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God Almighty, we arise upon you all, protect you, guide you, and keep you from this evil until it passes away in the mighty name of Jesus. May you find grace in the sight of God. The Bible says that during the time of Noah, when the water was raging, when the water was destroying, 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 Noah and his family found grace in the sight of God. I pray in this time and in this moment, may you and your family find grace in the sight of God in the mighty name of Jesus. May God puts you in that ark like he put Noah in the ark. May God uh, shield you. May God guide you. May God overpower you and your family and put you in his care and protect you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. That as this coronavirus is raging, as Boko Haram is, is going everywhere, kidnap us everywhere, God Almighty will keep you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace of God will keep you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. The, we need the grace of God, the grace and the mercies of God. Let me tell you, you are alive today. It's not because of your righteousness. It's not because of your holiness. It's not because you are too good. It's not because you know it better. It is by the grace and the mercies of God. And I pray that that grace and the mercies of God will continue to protect and guide us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the grace, the power, the blood of Jesus Christ, may that blood speak for us wherever in the mighty name of Jesus. May that blood immune us against every disease, every disease, every affliction in the mighty name of Jesus. All, like I said before, all doctors, all nurses, all the health workers, care workers, essential workers, wherever you are, may the hand of God be upon you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. We are covered with the blood of Jesus. We are covered with the shield of God Almighty in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom. See you again.